Hi, my name is Katie Hargreaves, and in my role as Polymat Curriculum Coordinator, I explore and consider what it means to have an ambitious curriculum that not only develops students as academic learners, but also as people. Crucial to this development is the role of the form tutor, a role that's often overlooked and under-resourced. When considering a form teacher, one could consider register taking, safeguarding and uniform checking. But surely I concluded this does not encompass an ambitious reach. In my 11 years as a form tutor, I've often focused on how I develop my tutees as people, and that's what I'm going to consider today. It's not only Ofsted and our schools that consider the importance of developing children as people, but also the United Nations Conventions on the Rights of Children, who outline the crucial importance of developing students' personality and talents, and how this must take place within a nurturing environment. When considering the role of the form tutor, the scope of responsibility is wide, and yet often our CPD is focused on subject areas and teaching strategies. The gulf between what's expected of a form tutor and how the tutor is then supported through CPD is too big in too many schools, secondary education institutions consider. Safeguarding training is a legal requirement, but it shouldn't be the beginning and end of our training. In my own journey as a form tutor, I've often considered how I want students to grow as people. With this in mind, every year I take on a form group, I consider the age and what is crucial at that point in time to, for them to develop as young people. In year seven, I've considered the idea and the crucial importance of students developing a sense of self and voice. And as such, right at the beginning of my form tutor journey, I had students present a bit about me, where students explored their identities, their hobbies and things that were important to them to empower them with a sense of voice. Journeying through the year groups, I try to allow students to think about them as people within the world. Year eight, I've often considered their place within the community and allowing them and encouraging them to research what's happening in their own communities. Year nine, going beyond this and asking students to consider themselves within the world and beginning for them to research and consider what is happening in the world around them. Year 10 and 11 is more focused on the future and moving towards where they see themselves in the world. So by year 11, there's a sense of purpose to meet that future self. I'm gonna consider now my current role as a year 11 form tutor and how I begin the year by focusing on empowering students to have a sense of self and how they are going to move forward into the world of work and further education. What I do at the beginning of year 11 is get students to consider their purpose this year and how they are going to move forward and meet this future self they imagine. The outcome of the year, which I often keep in mind, is the idea of exam success and success meaning different things for different students and how they're going to enter the next phase of education. This is the bigger picture and what I try to do for students in year 11 is break it down into stepping stones, thinking about exam requirements, available sixth form and colleges and how we can have guest speakers to come in from sixth form and discuss with them how to access that next stage of their education. It can be as simple sometimes as allocating computer time for students that will allow them and give them the space, time and resources to complete their sixth form and college applications. Sometimes addressing their nerves regarding interviews for sixth form and running mock interviews with draft questions. With all of this in mind, what I'm trying to do is keep the bigger picture in mind for my tutees, empowering them with the knowledge, the experience and the skills to move into the next stage of education. What I often do is break this down with a monthly focus. Sometimes I allow students to consider the focus of that month and then that gives them a sense of purpose on a month to month basis. So thinking about September of year 11, I often encourage students to outline their goals for the year. This might, for example, mean giving them a timeline of the year or encouraging students to set their own targets. In October, I know that we need to move to focusing on mock exams and looking at sixth form options. So I know then that I need to empower them with the sixth form option spreadsheets and ensuring, for example, that there are revision guides for my people premium students. Moving into November, I know that applications for sixth form open up. And what I need to do as a form tutor then is encourage students to 
apply to sixth form and I can facilitate this through booking of computers on a weekly basis. By December, I know that students are entering into interviews for sixth form and college. So at this point, what I need to do is to run mock interviews in order to then address the idea of students not being equipped or ready for the interview process. I can map this out and I do share this with students, but often this is within my head. I know that as a broader picture in year 11, I want them to empower them with a sense of moving into the future with all the skills and knowledge that they need. It goes back to the idea that on a yearly basis, I want students to understand what they're building about themselves as people within that school year. I don't always do this in isolation. I draw upon wider links and how these can help. Um, parents and carers, often what I will do is create a parent email group to share these kind of key dates and process that we're going through. What I've had in return is parents also sharing resources that they've found that they believe will help the students move through year 11 successfully. I've also invited year 12 students to talk to year 11 students. Often students do need to hear different voices, all encouraging them and supporting them in similar ways. Head of year input has also been crucial as well, not only their own head of year, but the head of year 12 and 13. There's a wealth of experience around me and around us, and it's important that we call upon that as a form tutor. Finally, the crucial importance of supporting all learners and drawing upon learning support. This is often facilitated college taster days and strategies and ways that I can support some students. I think it's crucial we remember finally, as form tutors and adults, that some of the students we teach don't have the privilege and structures in their lives that we do. And form time and as tutors for some students takes the place of that interaction and attention they may lack elsewhere in their lives. I think this summarises nicely the reason why it's so important to invest in our form as people and why it's so crucial we invest in our skills as a form tutor. We may be the only consistent adult in the lives of our students and therefore our attention to the detail and our attention to developing students as young people is important.